Welcome to this third module, which focuses on the engineering of the Cas9 system. In the earlier two modules, we have focused on the CRISPR-Cas enzyme and its components. In this module, we will focus on engineering of the CRISPR-Cas system for performing specific functions. As you can see, the CRISPR-Cas system can be utilized for gene knockout by deletion of nucleotide sequences, as well as for the regulation of promoters and the identification of specific promoters related to genes. So in this case, the principle is that the Cas9 enzyme needs to be transformed into the host eukaryotic system. As you know, Cas9 is not present in eukaryotic cells. It has only been reported in bacterial cells. So when we transform the Cas9 into the eukaryotic system, it needs to be fused to its relevant promoter, which will function in that particular system. The gene that transcribes the gRNA is indicated in red, and this can be inserted into the vector as well. And finally, the blue represents the cloning site for the specific RNA molecule, which needs to be targeted. In order to engineer the CRRNA, one needs to identify the target site. The first thing one looks at in the target site is the protospacer adjacent motif, which is indicated in green. In this case, the protospacer adjacent motif is AGG. The CRRNA sequence is designed to be complementary to the target DNA sequence as indicated in blue. So subsequent to that, we do the engineering of the gRNA. This is the target sequence with the PAM motif. And over that, you see in blue the engineered tracer RNA and crRNA sequence, which represents the gRNA. The tracer RNA domain, which is indicated vertically in black, is that portion of the RNA which will bind to the Cas9 enzyme. This sequence is Cas9 enzyme specific and it cannot be changed. However, the region indicated in blue can be modified so as to target the respective DNA target. So these are the steps involved in your experimental design. The first step involves identification of the target gene. The second step is the determination if the, of the PAM sequence, which should be adjacent to the target gene. The third step involves amplification of the target DNA using PCR. Fourth step involves ligation into the CRISPR-Cas plasmid vector. Fifth step, transformation of the vector into cell line. And six steps, validation of the gene deletion using PCR or phenotypical analysis. The first step is the identification of the target gene. So in this case, we have identified a target gene indicated in black. The next step will involve identification of the PAM motif. In this case, it's CGG. The third step will involve amplification of the target gene using PCR. As you can see, the green and the red arrows designate the forward and reverse primers which will amplify the target gene. Care should be taken so as to ensure that the PM motif indicated in CGG is adjacent to the target gene. Finally, the gene can be inserted into the plasmid vector. In this case, the green represent the promoter. These will be cell-specific promoter. For instance, in human cell line, the green can represent a SV40 promoter or a CMB or cytomegalovirus promoter. The red hexagon indicates the ribosome binding site and the blue indicates the Cas9 enzyme. As you can see, the Cas9 enzyme will be transcribed and translated by the host cellular machinery. However, the second fragment, which represents the gRNA, is transcribed but not translated into proteins. This engineering design is essential in order to ensure that the Cas9 and the gRNA are compatible with each other. In the next step, we transform the plasmid into cells. This 
process will ensure that the Cas9 enzyme and its corresponding RNA molecules are expressed in the same cell under the same set of conditions. Finally, we move on to the next step. So, in this case, the enzyme will target the gene of interest indicated in red and digest that particular DNA sequence. One of the applications of Cas9 is in genetically modified organisms. Since Cas9 creates deletions and can engineer insertions without the use of the cauliflower mosaic virus promoter as in plants, detection using genetic modification uh, diagnostic techniques is difficult as individual genes may not be modified substantially as compared to the parent organism. The alternative applications of Cas9 are promoter studies. Cas9, which is in the DCAS9 form, format, can be utilized to bind to promoters and target specific genes. In this case, you will identify the promoter associated with each gene. Cas9 can also ut be utilized for fluorescent in situ hybridization as it is specific to specific regions of the genome. This concludes the module 3 of CRISPR Cas9 systems. Please complete your evaluation at the end of this module. Thank you for watching.